started off the first like four hours of the day just laying in bed watching this giant bomb video it's like 12 hours long so I could just lay here all day if I wanted to and just watch them play video games but I know that I'm just being a piece of shit right now and I don't really want to get out of bed but I'm kind of hungry so I'm gonna get up and uh go out <sighs> Yeah, so riding through Chinatown, going to Kintan Ramen again. Gonna meet up with Amanda and Lion. And I was looking forward to eating Karage Ramen because it's Monday, but they were sold out. So instead, I just got this spicy pork thing or something. It's still good, but it's, it's not that karage, you know, that I was looking forward to. But it's uh, nice to see Amanda and Lion, and Amanda even brought my jacket from when she visited our parents. And my gloves, my nice gloves were in there. Man, it feels good to have the nice thin gloves again. Because now I can easily film and wear gloves at the same time. Anyways, after that, I uh, went over to Adam and Don's and hung out with them. Just, uh, you know, playing that guitar a little bit. And I ate more of their cookies. They're good cookies. Oh, and then we had a little bit of a tea party. Just, uh, just chilling. And uh, drinking some of this aloe drink. Slurping it. Don downloaded The Sims 4, I think it was, and then we all made characters. And I made a, a gender swap version of me, so that's what I might look like as a lady. And then we made like a really crappy like dorm <laughs> style apartment for everyone to live in, and we watched us watching TV. And normally in The Sims, I guess you would like take control of them and tell them what to do, but we just let them live their lives how they wanted to. And everything in the house broke, and they didn't fix anything, and then eventually everybody dies, which is kind of weird. The Sims are too dumb to take care of themselves. Yeah. Then I went home and I pumped up my bike tires which is something that I've been meaning to do for a while and I did some vacuuming because my floor is getting kind of gross and then I cut up a bunch of vegetables and packed my lunch for the next few days and then I uh, was like yo I'm gonna try to sharpen this knife again Cause it's I don't know I use this knife fairly often it's, it was nice it's kind of fun to sharpen a knife not sure if it's better, but maybe it's better? It's definitely better than before I used the whetstone at all. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got like a kind of shallow grind on the middle section of it. It's a little uneven. Eh, it's just kind of neat to see it though. And I threw out some trash, washed the dishes, and I was like, man, I should do some exercise. So, I did some push-ups. I think I did like nine here. And then I'm like, one more, Andrew. You can do one more. And I'm like, do it. And I tried, but man, push-ups are actually kind of hard. And I feel like I used to be good at doing push-ups. Like I feel like I used to be able to do 30 when I was younger, at least. But maybe I was doing them like wrong back then or I'd have my hands out further apart. I don't know. So I think 
I I did like three sets, if you can call them that. I just went until I couldn't do them anymore. I did nine the first time, five this time, before I was like, ah, oh, one more. I don't know, I'm, I'm holding out for a long time here. <laughs> until eventually my face hits the floor. Yeah. And... Yeah. <laughs> I do four here. <sighs> so yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna... You know, push-ups are hard, because it's like, tomorrow I'm not gonna want to do push-ups. My arms are gonna feel tired. And then I'll just forget about it. Maybe I'll do more. Who knows? <laughs> 